Stop messing with your tether, convict. It really bugs me. I hate this thing. Well, it's supposed to bug you. You're supposed to hate it. You should have thought of that before you started breaking the law. It was a mistake, Dad. You just keep telling yourself that. And don't call me Dad. Call me Warden. Why would I call you Warden? Because this place for the next three months, as long as you're on house arrest, will be like a prison for you. I'm doing that on purpose. Do you remember when you got detention in eighth grade for a week? Yes. What happened when you got home? If I get detention in school, I'm supposed to get grounded when I get home, too. And you were grounded for a week, correct? Yes, but why can't it just be separate? Because school is separate from home. I'm trying to teach you. And if I make this place like a prison, you will think twice before you ever break the law again. Okay, lose the concert shirt. This is I love Lose the concert shirt. Put this on. Why do I have to put this on? All the prisoners wear that. Happy. Is who happy? Warden, are you happy? Yes. Turn TV off. Why? What are you doing in here? This is my room. I'm just hanging out. This is not your room. Your cell is elsewhere. Where, where's my cell? Huh? Where's my cell then? This you is can't my stay in here. Why not? This you, is my room. You, sir, are a felon. You don't get cable, stereo, TV, all that stuff. You don't get all that. Your cell is downstairs. You get the guest bedroom. Follow me. How are you liking your accommodations? There's nothing to do in this room. Room? This, this cell. There's nothing to do in this cell. Oh, there's plenty to do. You get to think. You get to think about what you've done. Okay, convict. Recreational time's over. Back to your cell. Inmate, would you like a book or a magazine? Are we really going to hit every prison movie cliche? Maybe. Do you want a book, magazine, or not? I'll take one of each, please. Thanks. Did you get these from our extensive prison library? Don't be a wise guy. Thanks, Mr. Dufresne, for making prison life easier for us. Where'd you get those snacks? The kitchen. The kitchen? Yeah. Only snacks here are available through the prison commissary. Okay, fine. I got these at the commissary. Did you pay for them? Give it up. Thank you, inmate. There's dinner, prisoner. This is my dinner? Yes. Really, Dad? A spork? Well, yeah. You're not going to get silverware. I'm going to get silverware. No, you're not getting silverware. You will use the spork. Why? I'm not going to risk me or my staff getting stabbed by an inmate because you have filed down some silverware into a shank. Who's the staff? I'm not going to have anything happen to my staff. What's we'll up, me? I want me to get the knives. The fact that I have removed all the knives. Oh. Ow! What was that? I shanked you. That's a push pin. What am I gonna do? File down something and really stab you with something? You're my son. Yeah? It still hurts. I'm trying to give you the real prison experience. What if you had a real convict that wanted to shank you. Why are we doing every prison cliche? Ow! Stop! Ow! You got a letter from your mom, inmate. Why did she write me? Why can't I just go see her upstairs? You can't go upstairs anymore. I'm not allowed to go upstairs. No. But how am I supposed to go to the bathroom? What are you doing? I'm giving you the full-on prison experience. Would the warden really climb in bed with its convict? Don't call me warden. Call me Bubba. 
too much films. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you doing? 